All right, Linux, I thought we would have a little bit of fun with all of the Ubuntu getting rid of Unity going to GNOME news. I thought I'd have a little fun with it. So uh, I downloaded Ubuntu GNOME 17.04, and you're going to see the official release of Ubuntu 17.04 in about a week, I think. Um, so I initially thought that Ubuntu GNOME was like a community edition, but it's actually an official release. So that's what we've got running here, and I decided to spend a little time with some extensions and some theming and tweaks to make it look what could possibly be what we see when 18.04 releases. So we've got the familiar um, Ubuntu wallpaper, which I downloaded. I believe this is from 16.10, and you'll notice um, that kind of plum hue that we see here in the top bar as well as the dock here to the left and this is to the left like you are used to if you run unity and uh, did some other things here you'll notice there's no activities listed up here like you'll see in the default gnome desktop instead we have ubuntu go so i made that up um, ubuntu go because you go to search and you go to whatever's running in the background so again made that up um, put a little Ubuntu icon here as opposed to just that blank space. And so I had a little fun with it. Who knows? This could be the future now. So um, I actually think it turned out fairly nice. It looks pretty good, actually. Uh, and it's functional. So I'll step through a th few things with you here. So uh, first of all, as I said, I just simply downloaded a, an Ubuntu 1610 wallpaper. Um, it could be from 1604, 1610, just to give it that, you know, color to pull from. And then I made some adjustments here with the dash to dock settings. Um, and so we'll step into those briefly. Uh, so basically I kept this on the left. Uh, I turned on panel mode to extend to the edge of the screen. And I adjusted the icon size. And that's, oh, and I turned off Intelligent Auto Hide here. Then the other thing I did was I went into Appearance, and I turned on Shrink the Dash. I turned on Show Windows Counter Indicators, those little indicators, white indicators there. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is customize the dash color. So you'll turn that on, and you can go in and create a custom color. So I came up with this plum color that you're, you're, you are used to seeing uh, within Ubuntu and it also kind of matches the theme of the wallpaper and now you can also turn on the transparency here and adjust that I've got mine set at 94 percent probably will turn that down a little more just to let a little more of the wallpaper show through there let's let's crank that down to about well we don't want to get too far away from the top bar so I'm going to take it back up actually because these two match so let's go back here. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, and then the other thing I did was I turned on force straight corners. So that takes care of your color here and setting up your dock to the left. Then I went into the uh, tweak tool and adjusted the theme. So I turned on the global dark theme, which you see here. And under GTK, I was um, I just stuck with the default theme that you see. Um, may have adjusted that to dark. I believe I turned that to dark. But I installed a new icon pack called Obsidian One, and there is a dark and a, a standard, I guess, uh, for Obsidian. And it's a really nice icon set. It's the first time I've ever used it. It's certainly not flat. Uh, and it's got a just a really nice clean appearance to it. Um, and then that was it on the theming side. And then I installed um, a couple of extensions and turned some off. So the applications menu, I believe, was on by default. I turned that off. I did have to install the dash to dock, which we adjusted earlier. Uh, there's no need to install dynamic panel transparency. Uh, simply because once you install the Activities Configurator extension, that overrides the dynamic panel transparency. So let's go into the settings there for Activities Configurator, and that's where I was able to adjust the color of the top panel and to add this Ubuntu icon 
and to change the name of activities to Ubuntu Go. So let's launch into those settings. And so here you'll see that you could select an icon. I simply just pulled that off of the web. You could also toggle that completely off and just have the wording there. Or for that matter, you could actually turn off the text and have nothing there. But I wanted to have a little fun with it. So uh, we're going to turn both the icon and the Ubuntu Go there. Let's say you just wanted it to say Ubuntu. Or perhaps you just wanted it to say Go. Whatever it is, uh, you simply type it out and uh, click Apply. And now we just have Go. So um, kind of fun to set all of that up. And uh, you've got some other options here for text padding, things like that. Actually, I, I kind of like Ubuntu Go. So we're going to leave that. Um, you can uh, adjust the hot corner threshold, which is your corner up here. You can disable the hot corner altogether. And that's something that I typically do toggle off because sometimes if you're moving the mouse around, you're, you're popping up the, the uh, activities window when you don't mean to. And hide the panel's rounded corners so that keeps everything nice and straight. You can also hide the application menu button icon. You can override the shell theme. And then we got down here to set panel background. And we were able to go in and choose the exact same color we had here for the dock. And get all of that set up. And then we have transparency settings. So I'm going to actually bump that up. And you've got a little more. It's probably not something that's going to show up on the video. But you can set that transparency level uh, to where you can see a little of the wallpaper. And then you can adjust the panel shadow color with the transparency of that as well. So that's basically it. And again, I think it really gave it a look that who knows? The future could be now. This is... This could be similar to what we would see in the 1804 release. My hope is, though, that Canonical gets together and they take a look at some of the existing extensions that are available for the GNOME desktop, and they either build on that or come up with their own extensions that really sets the GNOME desktop apart for their 1804 release. Um, there's already some really, really nice extensions, some of which you shake your head and go, that should be default in the GNOME desktop, but it's not. So I just, I would say if anyone on the Canonical team is listening, um, hey, take your inspiration from this maybe, but certainly I'm sure you're going to do a much, much better job than I've done here. But, uh, but certainly take a look at those extensions and you know, really come up with some really cool ideas to integrate into your version of the GNOME desktop. I think that would be something that users would really appreciate. And it's needed, quite frankly. So, uh, all right, that's it for now. I wanted to have a little fun with this and hopefully stepping through and showing you what I did. If you're interested in making your Ubuntu GNOME desktop look like this, then that would get you close. So, all right, that's it for now. We'll check you later.